warming is all about climate extremes. Of course, global warming means that the average temperature of the planet will increase. But when we do that, we change all aspects of the climate system. For example, if you warm up the oceans, then you increase the amount of evaporation. If there's more water going up into the atmosphere, then it's got to rain. What is happening across the United States is that moderate rains are decreasing slightly and heavy rains, very heavy rains, are increasing. So that it rains harder when it does rain. It's the very heavy rains which are much more difficult to manage because they are the ones which cause local flooding or if they continue, you know, it's more widespread flooding. And it's these heavy rain events that then can flush the water from sanitation into clean water supplies. What that will mean to our health in terms of water contamination is something we're going to have to contend with. On the whole, the atmosphere and the planet are going to get wetter due to global warming. But in many areas, in places that are already sort of dry, the climate on the whole is going to get drier because the increased heat is just going to bake the moisture out of the soil. And in some areas, drought will become more and more common, and that's a very dangerous thing. It has a big impact not only on agriculture, but on the availability of drinking water. We all see different parts of the climate system, and we all experience the climate differently. We don't see the full way the climate affects our lives, the way it affects natural ecosystems, the way it affects our air and the water and everything else. I, I think what's really important when you look around your surroundings or just look outside is to realize how connected everything is. I think a lot of people consider climate change as some big theoretical far into the future that doesn't connect to their daily lives. And I don't really think that's true. Imagine uh, imagine you live in New England, uh, where I grew up in Maine, for example, and see that the, the time that the, uh, the leaves turn color starts to change, or maybe they don't turn color at all anymore. Or your favorite skiing spot no longer gets snow. Or here in the upper Midwest where I live now, uh, you can't go ice fishing in the winter anymore. that come in the spring don't come at the same time. All of those things that we take for granted about the pulse of the seasons, about when the maple syrup runs in the spring, or when the leaves turn in the fall, or when the snow comes for the kids, if all those things started to change, it would really change the character of where we live in really profound ways.